Masking fluid is a liquid latex. You paint it onto uh, watercolour paper, you allow it to dry, then you paint over the top of it, and when the paint has dried you then remove the masking fluid and it will go back to the white of the paper. Now, there's one or two things you should know about masking fluid. It's, um, it does actually go off in time, so if you've got an old bottle of uh, masking fluid, just try it out first before you commit it to a painting. Uh, the, the masking fluid that I use is uh, a blue colour, it's actually called the Blue Stuff, and it's much more liquid than the usual masking fluid. Because it dries very, very quickly and it's water resistant when it is dry, it does tend to ruin brushes. So if you have a, um, a masking fluid brush, wet the brush first, then with a bar of soap, wipe your brush over the soap. Now this forms a barrier between the masking fluid and the, the hair of the brush. Then you dip it into your masking fluid and apply it to the paper. So I'm just masking off some, some daisies. There's the center and a few stems and leaves in there. Then when you wash the brush out all the masking fluid comes out of the brush because of the soap. Put the lid back on Unfortunately, if the masking fluid does dry on your brush, there is only one way to remove the masking fluid, and that is with lighter fluid. So you get some lighter fluid, put it into the palm of your hand, work the brush into the lighter fluid. This will soften the masking fluid, and then you can just peel it out of the, the brush, and then wash it in soapy water. Then you have your brush back. There are one or two things that you have to bear in mind when using masking fluid. Um, sometimes the masking fluid dries hard onto your paper and when you try to remove it, it just tears the surface of the paper. Uh, this generally happens if uh, you put masking fluid onto um, a watercolour paper which is slightly damp. It means that the masking fluid just seeps into the paper and gets caught up in the fibres. When it dries, it then sticks to the, the fibres and when you rub off the masking fluid it just pulls the paper off uh, the surface. So always put masking fluid onto a nice clean dry surface. Um, and The other problem with masking fluid, it, if you're painting in a hot climate or using a hair dryer to dry your masking fluid then it, it will dry a little bit harder than you would uh, really want and that tends to um, make the masking fluid stick to the paper and again rips the surface when you try and remove it. So just just be aware that it can be um, a bit tricky to use occasionally. Moving back to the daisies that I prepared earlier, I'm just going to put a couple of washes of colour to start with some blue. Bring that down over the top of the masked flowers. Change the colour. Some country olive. Just bring that down. Maybe just a shade darker into there, into the wet. So this is wet into wet. Then we just allow the paint to dry completely. Once the paint has dried, you can then remove the masking fluid just using your fingers. So you rub with clean, dry hands, peel off the masking fluid, goes back to the white of the paper, get rid of the bits and pieces, then with a medium detail brush just paint in the centre of the flowers Some 
green, just a very, very pale light green, and just wash that over the grasses and the stems. With some burnt sienna, just touch that into the just touch that into the flower head. And there we have some daisies. If you're painting grasses, an interesting way of applying masking fluid is with a, a pen called a ruling pen. Uh, sometimes called a draftsman's pen or a drawing office pen, bow pen, you know, they call it anything you like, but it is, it's a ruling pen. And it's an adjustable um, pen and you can rotate the nut on the top and that will open and close the points. So you just open it up so there's just a small gap. Don't want it too wide. Then with the masking fluid, you dip the pen into the masking fluid and the masking fluid just sits between the two points. And when you draw it over the surface of some paper, the masking fluid just comes out between the two points. So you can draw these long, fine grasses with masking fluid. Wash the pen out. Always put the lid back on. Then simply allow this to dry off. Just test to see if the masking fluid is dry. Uh, if it's still wet and you put your brush over the top of the masking fluid, the masking fluid will go into your brush and probably dry and ruin your brush. So just make sure it's dry. Then with some country olive, paint over the top of the masking fluid. So wash the color over the grasses. Just extend the grasses like that. Allow that to dry, then clean dry fingers, rub the masking fluid off, and then we have some grasses and so it's gone back to the white of the paper with a pale green, this is sunlit green. Just wash that light colour over the green background. Then we have light on dark grasses. Another way of applying masking fluid is with a natural sponge. Um, I've just dipped this into water, squeezed all the excess water out of the sponge, so it's a damp sponge. Then you get a saucer. Tip some masking fluid into the saucer. Dunk the sponge. Just let it soak in. And then you can very gently tap the sponge onto the surface so you get some maybe some spray from a, a wave so let's just turn this into uh, some spray so just lightly pat the sponge onto the, the surface so you get a lovely texture and with your brush just flick like that 
Once the masking fluid is dry, we then paint in a rock and then the background. So start off with the foliage brush, not too wet. Put a light colour on the rock first and just paint over the top of some of the masking fluid. Then with a dark colour, this is ultramarine and burnt umber. So it's quite thick. Put that colour over the top of the first colour. So that coming down like that. So just quickly paint that in. Because I'm using a rough surface paper, I'm going to use a credit card to create some texture on the rocks. It's not a credit card, it's just a plastic card. And you just scrape away get some texture on the rocks. Then with the large detail brush, some blue, this is ultramarine, a touch of midnight green, paint the sea in the background. Let's bring that down. Paint over the masking fluid. Just make sure we've covered all of the masking fluid. Then we allow the paint to dry off completely. When the paint has dried, again with clean dry hands you just remove the masking fluid by rubbing with your fingers. It's the white foam from the wave hitting the rock. With a medium detail brush and some cobalt blue, not too strong. And just put a little bit of shade into the breaking wave, just a bit underneath there. Then with some midnight green and ultramarine, just finish off a few ripples in the water. And there we have a breaking wave. I'm going to show you how you can paint snow on a tree. You know when you get that light dusting of, um, of snow uh, over the top of the, the branches and the twigs? Very, very difficult to achieve uh, when using uh, masking fluid because you know, using a paintbrush is just, just a bit too heavy handed. This is a, a great technique which works almost every time. You need some kitchen towel. Just make it into a, a pad. So nice flat pad like that. Here's the, uh, the tree we're going to do. So I've drawn it in pencil on Bockingford paper. Tip some masking fluid into a saucer and you dunk your kitchen towel into the masking fluid. And just let it soak in. That's it. And then you lightly dust over the top of the tree. Just tap it very gently, not too hard. And it just peppers the tree with masking fluid, like that. Then with the masking fluid brush, add some soap to the brush first up the masking fluid and just put a little bit of masking fluid on 
the top of some of these branches. So this will be the snow sitting on the branches. Like that. Down the side of the tree. Wash the brush out. Then allow the masking fluid to dry completely. When the masking fluid has dried, using some um, ultramarine, just wash over the top of the tree. So you paint the, uh, the sky in first. hint of some trees and things in the background. Just put those in fairly dark using some ultramarine and burnt umber. It goes in like that. Foreground, some cobalt blue, just a little bit of snow on the ground like that. Again we let, allow the, uh, the paint to dry off before we put the detail on using a dark colour. This is ultramarine and burnt umber. Paint in the main tree trunk and some branches. So you, you run the brush on the underside of the masking fluid so the masking fluid becomes the snow sitting on top of the branch. So just tuck that on the underside there. Now this is very subtle, so we're going to come in nice and close. Clean, dry hands. Remove the masking fluid by rubbing with your fingers. There's the snow. So a very delicate dusting of snow over the top of a tree.